So, I made it out onto the ice today. I'm going to be using live shiners to hopefully hook into some bass and pickerel today. And as of right now, I only have three tip-ups set up. And that's just because the ice is still so thick where I live. It is really hard to drill through like 14, 15 inches of ice with a hand auger. So... I, honestly, I haven't really been fishing that much recently just because of that reason. Spring is coming. Yesterday, it was 60 degrees out, so the ice is melting a little bit, which is great. I can't wait to start fishing open water. But honestly, there's still probably three more weeks of ice fishing. Alright guys, first tip of the day. I've been here about 20 minutes or so. Hopefully I can connect on my first one. That would be pretty sweet. Got him. For some reason my, uh... There we go. <laughs> first fish of the day. There we go. First fish of the day. Just a little bass. You can tell the water's pretty dirty just by how pale he is. But, huh. Where is he hooked? Oh, no way. Look at that. Guys, he just spit up a baby bluegill. <laughs> That's not my bait. That's wild. That is my bait, this little shiner. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, excuse me. All right guys, first tip of the day. That was pretty awesome that he spit up that bluegill. Let me give you guys a close up real quick. See what I mean here? He spit up this bluegill on the left and I'm using this shiner as bait. So I mean, I guess it's a match in the hatch, basically same size. Unfortunately, I can't use that bluegill for bait anymore because it's actually illegal to use bluegill for bait in New Hampshire. So I gotta stick this shiner back on. And I don't know what was wrong with my tip up, but for whatever reason, it wasn't letting out line anymore. Sometimes when you're out ice fishing, a gas station bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant tastes amazing. Alright guys, so I've been here a few hours and I've only had that one fish so far, but man, it is so windy today. I have ice anchors and I also put bungees on each corner of my bob house and I have it tied down and this thing still wants to blow away. It is very windy out there. So I'm probably going to give it about maybe half an hour more and then I'm going to think about picking everything up. But I am going to be hitting the ice tomorrow, maybe even open water tomorrow, so stay tuned for another bit. 